morning. Okay, so as I mentioned uh, last uh, Tuesday, okay, so hari ni kita akan okay, first part of the uh, first uh, first during the first hour, I uh, will resume with our lecture on the interrupt. Okay, so you need to know what is the interrupt because interrupt is quite important. Okay in the microprocessor okay because it gives instruction to multiple output devices okay to uh, to take action okay what need to be done okay and then later on the after that we will discuss a little bit more about uh, um, the topic okay that should be in our test two so sebelum tu, you have any question so you can ask. No question. So apa khabar semua? Semua sihat? Sihat. Sihat. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So we are in the new topic. Okay, we are in the new topic, uh, which is uh, INT twenty one, the okay, INT ten. So INT is interrupt. Okay. So what is interrupt? So interrupt is uh, uh we can call that as an instruction. Okay, that we give. Okay, we give to the output devices. So you have from the microprocessor. So you tell what uh, uh, the output devices need to do, okay, to function according to the instruction given by the microprocessor. Okay, sebagai contoh, uh, interrupt ten uh, function calls to clear the screen, set the cursor position, okay, write characters to the screen in the text mode, okay, draw lines on the screen in graphic mode, change the video mode, okay, and uh, interrupt 21, okay, input characters from the keyboard, output characters to the screen, input or output string. Okay, so this will, should be our objectives in this chapter. Okay. Okay, so the interrupt instruction ni is uh, somewhat similar, okay, like a far call. Okay, so it saves CS, IP and the flags on the stack and goes to the subroutine associated with that interrupt. Okay, so you will type interrupt, okay, interrupt 10 or 21, okay. The interrupt number ni uh, boleh, uh, dia double digit lah, alright, from 00 to FF. Okay, in 86 processor, okay. Uh, 256 interrupts, okay, number from 00 to FF, okay, and in this topic, only we discuss about interrupt 10 and 21, okay, so you tak yari sahur, uh, you have interrupt uh, other than that, uh, 0, 1, 0, 2, okay, 1, 1, okay, 2, 2, uh, 5, 5, AA, okay, uh, so we don't need to worry about that, so we uh, focusing only on the interrupt 10 and 21. Okay. <coughs> interrupt 10, okay, subroutines are burned into the ROM uh, BIOS. Okay. So, kalau you uh, jumpa instruction of interrupt 10, okay, so dia benda ni diletakkan lah, okay, di burn in the ROM BIOS. Okay, bukan RAM eh. So, ROM ni uh, read only memory. So, you tak boleh nak uh, uh, rewrite dia lah. Okay, you tak boleh nak rewrite because it's already fixed instruction. Okay, so used to communicate with the computer screen video. Okay, so ini kegunaan interrupt 10. Okay, digunakan untuk communicate with the computer screen video. Manipulation of screen text or graphics can be done via interrupt 10. 
Okay, among the functions associated with interrupt 10 are changing character or background color. Okay, so bila you pakai interrupt 10 ni, okay, you boleh, macam you see dekat you punya screen sekarang lah, okay. So when you, let's say you open the Microsoft Word, okay, Microsoft Word, so you boleh type in the character and so on, okay. But interrupt 10 ni in the BIOS setting, okay, BIOS setting, uh, if you uh, start up your computer, okay, if you start up computer, you see that before the windows load tu, dia ada BIOS, okay, that uh, is, uh, apa ni, is reading, okay, what has been written, okay. So, tujuan interrupt ni is nak menulis tu lah, nak menulis part tu, menulis code pada part tu, okay, what need to be done. <coughs> Okay, so uh, you boleh change the character or change the background, okay, color, okay, uh, clear the screen, changing the location of the cursor, okay. So this is done, cara nak buat dia, you kena put a specific value in register AH. Okay, so ini kegunaan untuk uh, monitor screen in text mode. Okay. Okay, so monitor screen ni untuk 86 PC, okay, dia dibahagikan kepada 80 columns, okay, and 25 rows in the normal text mode. Okay. Columns are numbered from 0 to uh, 79, okay, and rows are numbered from 0 to 24. Okay, so 80 and 25 lah. Alright, so column, uh, column from uh, left to right okay, is uh, 0 to 79 and rows from top to down, okay, top to down. Okay, the top left corner, okay, tengok at this picture, okay, at the top left corner, so it has been assigned 0, 0 and 0, 0, okay, on the most, uh, Right, okay, most top right is 0, 0, 0079. Okay, and the bottom left, the okay, bottom left, okay, is 2400. Okay, and the bottom right is 2479. Okay, so this one in terms of decimal, okay, kalau dalam hex, how do you convert that? Okay, one more, at the screen center is 12. 39. Okay. So, kalau you nak masukkan dekat tempat lain, uh, number lain lah. Kita kasih contoh, uh, 0, 0, 39. Okay. And then this one, it is uh, 24, 39. Okay. So, there is a specific, uh, this so dia ada sebanyak tu 80 times 25 uh, area. Okay, that you can uh, fill in. Okay, 80 times 25. Okay, so kalau uh, kita tukar, okay, this one, okay, dalam bentuk hex. Okay, so you know that from decimal, uh, nak tukar kepada hex. Okay, so you kena convert that to the, the binary first, right? And then binary back to the hex. Okay, so equivalent di 79 is 4F. And 39 to 27, okay. And then, uh, <coughs> uh, 24 equals to 18, and 79 equals to 4F, okay. Okay, tadi kita nak specify, okay, uh, which location, okay, dekat the monitor room. Now, let's say if we want to clear the screen, okay, we want to clear the screen. Okay, <coughs> to clear the screen using uh, interrupt 10H, these registers must contain certain values, okay, before interrupt 10 is called, okay. So, ini value dia, okay, AH, okay. 0, 06 okay, AL00 okay, BH 
KCX0000, DH24 and DL79. Okay, you nampak tak dia punya relationship dengan tadi, screen tadi? <coughs> okay, kalau macam DL, uh, DL ni, okay, dia menyatakan about the screen uh, punya column. Okay, 79 kan? Okay, yang the last column tu. So kalau DH, okay, kalau DH dia katakan dia punya row. Okay. Alright, so kita tengok uh, yang ni berkaitan dengan screen tadi, okay. So AH06, <coughs> so ni yang you kena initiate lah. Okay, AH06. Y AH06 untuk kita select the scroll function. So you boleh scroll lah pergi atas dan bawah. Okay and AL. Okay 0 0. So kita consider the entire page. Okay satu page. Okay keseluruhan page. And then BH07 for normal uh, attribute. Okay. And then uh, CH00 for row value of start point. And CS00, the column value of start point. Okay. So CS ni terbahagi dua lah. Okay. So CS ni you pair dengan DX. Okay. CS dengan DX. So CS ni ada CH dengan D, uh, sorry. CH dengan CL. Okay. So starting point dekat CL dengan CH. Okay. So DH and DL. Okay. And then you invoke the interrupt. Interrupt tab. Okay. So macam saya explain tadi. So AH06 calls the scroll function to scroll upward. Okay. So maksudnya dia akan scroll dia akan naik, 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 naik. Dia punya screen tu. Okay, so tadi berkenaan you nak clear the screen. Okay, so ni dia punya cara lah. Okay, ni punya cara. Okay. And then next untuk kita setting the cursor to a specific location. Okay. So interrupt 10 function AH02 okay, will change the position of the cursor to any location. Desired position is identified by row or column values in the X. Okay. So, beza tadi, tadi kita pakai AH06. So, you must remember kalau pakai AH06 tu usually kita nak clear the screen. Okay. And then now we use AH02. Okay. AH02, AH uh, kita nak set the cursor location. Okay. Okay, so the desired position is identified by row or column values in the X, okay, where DH uh, equals to row and DL equals to column. Okay, so a uh, video RAM can have multiple pages of text. Okay. So when AH0, okay, the page 0 is chosen by making dh equals to 0, 0. Okay. So, dalam uh, you punya uh, apa ni, uh, 86 microprocessor tu, so you punya video tu boleh simpan in the multiple pages. Okay, multiple pages. So, macam buku lah. Okay. So, ada one page, page one, page two, page three and so on. Okay. So, you boleh guna multiple pages lah. Okay. So, uh, that page tu is specified by the register BH. Okay. Macam tadi. Okay, <coughs> okay macam tadi. Uh, kita pilih this page. Okay. At BH07. Okay. At the page uh, 7. So, kita pilih tu. Yang ini kita pilih BH at uh, 00. 
Okay, after interrupt 10, okay, all interrupt 21 has executed registers not used by interrupt remain unchanged. Okay, so maksudnya kalau you tak pakai register tu, masa you invoke the interrupt tu, so that value of register dia tak berubah lah. Okay, example, okay, this one 4.1, okay, untuk uh, set the case location tadi, okay. Uh, kita nak set the cursor position, okay, to row 15, okay, which is 0F, okay, and column 25, uh, 1, 9, okay. So, ni yang you nak kena set. <coughs> okay. Alright, so, uh, kita nak set the cursor option. So macam tadi kita kena first we need to specify our AH. Okay untuk set the cursor location our AH must be 0 to. Okay so you put uh, move AH 0 to and then move BH 0, 0 untuk dekat page 0. Okay and then move DL okay 25 and move DH 15. Okay 1 5. Okay column uh, dispecify oleh DL and then row dispecify oleh DH. Okay, you put 10. After that, you follow with the INT 10. Okay, interrupt 10. Okay. Uh, <coughs> in text mode, okay, determine where the cursor is allocated at any time by executing the following. Okay, so kita tengok dekat sini. Kita nak dapatkan now, we want to get the current cursor position. Tadi kita nak set, okay, kita nak set the location kat mana cursor tu nak macam my, my mouse kan. Bila ada mouse tu kat sini, so bila AH02 Itu tu you set dekat sini, so dia akan appear dekat sini after you invoke the interrupt tadi. Okay. Now, you nak tahu, kita kan main punya cursor kat sini, you nak tahu the location of the cursor right now. Okay. Maksudnya you bukan set lah, you want to know the cursor position. Tadi, yang AH02 you nak set. Okay. Now, we uh, you want to get the current position of the cursor. Okay. So now kita gunakan AH03. Okay. And BH00 still sama. Kita gunakan page yang sama and interrupt time. Okay. After execution of the program, registers T, H and DL will have current row and column position. Okay. So you tahulah sekarang. So sebab dia akan bagi tahu you punya ni after you invoke interrupt tadi. So you akan dapat value dalam you punya register DH and also DL. So that tells you the cursor position. <coughs> okay, uh, on top of that, okay, so you are the value of the CX, okay. So CX ni dia beritahu you punya shape of the cursor. Okay, macam now, my shape of the cursor is arrow, okay. Can be circle, okay, triangle, okay. So this information is given by the CX. Okay. Okay, to change the now, another function of interrupt 10 is to change the video mode. Okay. So, tadi you dah learn, you ada the uh, AH07, uh, AH okay, AH0, uh, apa lagi, uh, 06 kan? AH06, AH02, AH0, Okay, so you can ingat lah dia punya function tu. Okay, screen clearing AH06. Okay. And then setting the cursor AH02 and uh, getting the current position of the cursor is uh, AH03. Okay. And then nak change the video mode. You punya AH is 00. Okay. 
and you specify what is your AL. Okay, AL too will give you the video mode. Okay. <coughs> okay, and attribute uh, associated with each character on the screen provides information to the video secretary. Okay, so setiap attribute, so we are giving the, let's say the, the number of alphabet or number, okay. Associated with the each character on the screen provides information to the video secretary. Okay. Okay, so ini yang ni lah. Macam tadi tu. <coughs> Bila you dah set the uh, the apa tu? The video mode and then you comes out, uh, you comes up with the register. Register nak mention you punya characteristic of the display tu. Okay. So maksudnya sekarang you nak adjust. Contoh my you tengok uh, dekat sini kan. You tengok dekat sini. Okay you tengok dekat sini. The character. Okay the character now here the color is black. Okay. And then it's not blinking. So yang ni dah dispecify oleh benda-benda ni lah. Alright. In this register. Okay dekat contoh dekat uh, D2, D1 and D0. Okay dia uh, toggle okay. You punya foreground intensity. Okay. <coughs> foreground ni. Okay foreground intensity. Contoh you type something and then uh, you punya character tu becomes a foreground and the background uh, yang belakang lah. Okay. So you boleh adjust dia punya intensity tu. Okay. Dia punya kecerahan tu. Okay. Intensity. Okay. Based on toggling D2, D1 and D0. Okay. <coughs> so yang ni as I mentioned actual character display. So you punya intensity of your character tadi. Okay, untuk uh, D3, okay, this is for foreground, A zero normal intensity, one highlighted intensity. Okay, you boleh juga jadi, jadi dia punya tu jadi highlighted. Okay, highlight tu macam tu lah, macam if you put the highlighter, okay, you put the highlighter on the word tu, uh, tu becomes the highlighted intensity. Okay, and D5, uh, D6, D5 and D4 okay, untuk toggle the background uh, intensity and then D7, you nak bagi tahu whether the character blinking or not blinking. Okay. So, itu berkaitan dengan attribute, okay, that associated with the each character lah. Okay. So, kita nak uh, tengok ni, uh, this example, okay, write a program, okay, using interrupt 10, okay, to change the video mode, okay, and then B display the character D in 200 uh, locations with attributes black on white blinking, okay, blinking test D are black and the screen background is white, okay, then use debug to run and verify the program. Okay, so kita nak change the video mode. Tadi kita just toggle dia punya ni lah, AH00 and we change the AL. Okay. Okay, so interrupt 10 function AH00 is used with AL video mode to change the video mode. Okay, use AL03. Okay, move AH00 remove AL03 and interrupt 10 H. So, okay. Settle part A. Okay. So, part B. Okay. Display the letter D. Okay. Display the letter D. Okay. Give me a while. So, example 4.3.
Okay, so this one, okay, you want to display the letter D in 200 page location. Okay, so yang ni, <coughs> you kena buat, okay, Okay, first Yang function ni, you nak display character You gunakan AH09 Okay, AH09 So, you put the Move Okay AH09 Okay First line, and then you set the page which page that you want. Move bh zero zero. Okay, and then next. Okay, um, you can bagi tahu the so the letter D. Okay, the letter D ni sebab dia dalam S key. Okay, so when you you are communicating with the assembly language, so you can mention dia dalam S key. Okay, so dalam S key, so D is 44. Okay, so you need to move. Okay, AL for the four page. Okay. And then you nak display, okay, this character, okay, this character dalam 200 uh, location, okay, with the attributes plan, okay. So you can specify, okay, dekat CX, okay, you can specify dekat CX. CX, okay, 200. Okay, and then, apa lagi yang dia nak? Okay, with attribute split on white blinking. Okay, so blinking nanti dia tu kalau white lah. Okay. So, you can specify, okay, according to this, okay, according to this one lah. Okay, so yang mana you nak pilih? So, kalau zero, zero, white on white. Okay, tak nampak lah dia punya display. So, semua white on white. So, nampak putih je lah. Okay. White on black. Okay, white on black. So, you can create white on black normal. White on black highlight. Okay, white on uh, black uh, highlight. Okay, white on black uh, blinking. Okay, <coughs> white on uh, white blinking. Okay, black on black, black on white. Okay, black on white blinking. Uh, so, you nak mana? Yang ni kan? Black on white blinking. Okay. So, you nak color dia tu black. You punya uh, character tu color black on white. Okay. And then blinking. Okay. So, you punya character color black and then the screen background is white. And then black tu blinking lah. Okay. So, you nak F0. Okay. So, you set this one. Uh, on to BL, okay. Move BL, okay. F zero, okay. Okay, and then lastly put the interrupt. I N T ten, 
Okay. So ni you punya ni lah. Okay. Cara nak display the, uh, the delta D. Okay. If you want to display any other character, of course remember that you need to start with AH09. Okay. <coughs> Okay. Alright, so the use device to run and verify the program. Okay, so we need to don't need to do that. Okay. So that is not um uh apa ni? related with the assembly language. Okay, so that's uh after, uh after the processing of the assembly language that we we write. Okay, so Okay, we look uh, after that. Okay. <coughs> okay, so kita nak tengok dari segi uh, uh, dia punya apa ni uh, dalam bentuk okay, CGA. Okay, color graphic attributes. Okay, color graphic attributes. Mode is the common denominator for all color monitors okay as as all color monitors and video circuitry are upwardly compatible okay so cga attribute uh, byte bit definition is as shown okay so tadi okay, kita tengok uh, dekat mana up to d15 kan Right, so up to D15, so untuk CGA mode ni, okay So kita gunakan uh, A bit punya register, okay Kita tengok kat mana dia toggle dia punya color tu Okay, so yang ni uh, untuk set dia punya color Okay, and then this one also to set the uh, punya color And then uh, this one uh, for blinking, okay. And then this one for foreground intensity, okay. <coughs> okay, so the background okay, can take eight different colors, okay, by combining the prime colors, red, blue, and green. So the foreground can be any of uh, 16 different colors okay, by combining the red, blue, green and intensity. Okay. So let's say we have example here. Okay, we want to write a program that puts 20 okay, okay, in the S key uh, space on the entire screen. Use high intensity white on a blue background attribute for characters. Okay. So, tadi kita ada color black and white saja. Now, kita ada any uh, other color. Okay. Now, we have blue color. Okay. So, macam tadi juga, sama juga. Kita first set the video mode. Okay. Set the video mode. Okay. CGA text color text mode of 80 times 25. Okay, so you pilih AL03 and you put interrupt 10. Okay, first you need to specify that. Okay, because you want to use, uh, you choose the correct display mode and then after that, barulah you nak display. Okay, you nak display, so you put uh, AH09. Okay, and then you choose the page. Okay, BH is 0, 0. Okay. And S key for space. Okay, ini untuk space lah. Okay, space. Space, space bar. Okay, dekat you punya keyboard tu, space. Okay, you tekan yang, yang space tu, right? That space. <coughs> um, so, dia punya code dia is uh, 20. Okay. So you move that into the AL, okay. repeat it uh, 800 times, okay. repeat it 800 times, 
Okay. So you move CX 800 and after that you specify the color. Okay. You need to specify the color you put dalam register BL. Okay. So high intensity white okay, on blue. <coughs> Okay, high intensity white on blue. So, yang benda ni, okay, you boleh tengok dalam uh, table lah, okay. The 16 possible color. Okay, let me um, find it a bit. Okay, so the code uh, is uh, like this one. Uh, hold on. Okay, this one. Okay, 16 uh, possible color. Okay, so... Uh, Tadi tu dia punya ni lah. Okay. Kalau dia ada high intensity. Okay. White on blue. Okay. Ini one ni high intensity lah. Okay. So one. Okay. Okay. One, 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 one. Okay. Bila one, 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 one. So F lah. Okay. So high intensity white. One. And then blue. Ni, 0, 0, 0, 1. Alright. So, 1 lah kat depan ni. Okay. Sebab tu dia, dia, dia punya nama is high intensity white on blue. Okay. So, yang belakang ni, you specify the uh, you specify the apa ni uh, the background color okay and in the front tu you specify the uh, foreground color okay you punya character color okay so you tengok lah uh, code ni 1 1 1 1 untuk white sama dengan F okay and blue 0 0 0 1 sama dengan 1 okay I come back to uh, this Okay. Okay, this one. Okay, untuk white. Okay. Buat tam sama tadi. One, one. One, 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 one. Okay. And one ni untuk blue lah. Okay. Yang tadi. Zero, 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 one. Okay, you can have another color. So, you look at that table tadi lah. Alright. You look at that table tadi. Uh, okay, I share you the, the link for the file. Eh? So you can check your, the WhatsApp. So you can check the, the size there. So you can have the color. So if any color that you want to specify, just follow that table. Okay. Uh, I screenshot as well. So you can refer to that table. Okay. Alright, and then and as usual, so you can end lah dengan interrupt ten.
Okay, this one. Okay, so this one lah. You punya ni. Sama. Yang tadi. Alright. So. Yang tadi high intensity white on blue. One F. Okay, this one. Okay. Yang lain kalau you nak refer black on black, blue on black. Okay, green on blue. So you just remember that yang ini. Okay. Dia punya background yang uh, dia punya uh, background yang depan. Okay, dia punya background yang depan. Okay, yang belakang tu dia punya yang low tu, uh, yang low bit tu is for the character. Okay, so low bit is for the character. Okay, uh, in the text mode, okay, the screen is viewed okay, as a matrix of rows and columns of character. Okay, in graphic mode, a matrix of horizontal and vertical pixels. Okay, so kalau dalam text mode, dikira ikut character lah. Okay, kalau dalam graphic mode, dikira ikut pixel. Okay, number of pixel depends on monitor resolution and video board. Okay, two facts associated with every pixel on the screen must be stored in the video RAM. Okay, a location of the pixel and attributes. So, attributes to content of the color and intensity. Okay, the higher the number of pixels and color, okay, the larger the amount of memory that is needed to store them. Okay, so the memory requirements go up with the relation of uh, and number of colors. So macam you beli graphic card lah. Okay, you beli graphic card yang lagi banyak RAM. Okay. So dia boleh bagi you color lagi cantik lah sebab dia boleh store lagi banyak information. Okay. Maybe color, color, color black tu kan. Color black maybe black dia ada black yang cerah, black yang ke arah kebiruan. Okay. Uh, black yang ke arah kemerahan. Alright. So macam-macam black ada. Okay. So you, you boleh store. Okay. Uh, more color, okay. Um, more color if you have a bigger uh, video RAM, okay. Okay, CGA mode can have a maximum of sixteen kilobytes of video memory due to its inherent design uh, structure. Okay, so. Sigi emot ni kita boleh ada sampai 16K lah types of video memory. <coughs> okay, untuk text mode, dia sampai 2K je. Alright, sebab dia 80 darab 25. Okay, kiranya 2000 characters lah. Okay, uh, a total of 2K and okay, 2K and then you can plus 2k for attributes okay as each character has one attribute byte okay untuk text mode ni so maksudnya you nak specify dia punya ni lah uh, dia punya color alright dia punya sama ada blinking tak blinking tu okay so you can have 2000 tambah lagi 2000 okay each screen Okay, frame takes 4K, which results in CGA supporting a total of 4 pages of data. Okay, where each page represent one full screen. Okay, so page yang pertama, page yang kedua, page yang ketiga. So, setiap page tu, dia represent satu screen lah. So, so the whole, you punya monitor punya screen tu. Okay, in this mode, Okay, 16 colors are supported. Okay, to select this mode, use AL03 for mode. Okay, selection in interrupt 10, option AH00, of course. So, yang tu you kena initialize lah, sentiasa. AH, uh, AH00 and AL03. Okay. So, kalau dalam graphic modes, okay, you boleh ada... 320 times 200 ni untuk medium resolution. Okay. So maksudnya 320 times 200 so you will dapat 64k. Okay. Pixel. Okay. 
dividing total video RAM of 128K base, okay, so maksudnya kalau uh, you punya ni dikira sebagai 8-bit, okay, so 8-bit kan setiap satu register tu untuk you punya graphic mode, okay, so 128 bahagi dengan 8 Okay, you akan dapat 16K, uh, 16K. Okay. So, if you divide, okay, 128K ni, okay, uh, divide with the 64K, okay, so maksudnya you punya, based on you punya resolution ni, medium resolution, okay, so gives 2 bit for the color of each pixel. Okay. Maksudnya, setiap pixel tu, dia boleh store sebanyak 2 bits of color. Okay. Dia boleh store sebanyak 2 bits of color. So, maksudnya dia boleh guna so D0 and D1 lah. So, 2 bits. So, more than that, tak boleh lah. Okay. So, 2 bits give 4 possibility. Ha. So, maksudnya, dia 0, 0, 0, 1, okay, 1, 0 and 1, 1 saja. Okay. So, dia 4 possibility tu je. Okay. Thus, okay, 320 times 200 resolution CGA can support no more than 4 colors. Okay. To select this mode, okay, use AL04. So, katakan we have a higher resolution, okay, graphic resolution 640 times 200, okay, so we have 128K, okay. So, bila lagi besar, okay, bila lagi besar dia punya, you punya graphic resolution, okay, you punya color tu, okay, you punya pilihan color akan jadi lagi terhad lah. Okay. So now sebab dia punya maximum capability is 128. Okay. Maximum capability is 128. Okay. Dividing gives 1 bit. Okay. For color which can be on white or off. Okay. On or off. 1 or 0 lah. Okay. 1 for white. 0 for black. Okay. Select this mode. Okay, so tadi you nak guna medium resolution. Medium resolution, uh, zero berapa? Zero four. Okay, you select zero four. You put PH zero zero and then AL zero four. Yang normal CGA tadi, CGA mode tadi is zero three. Zero three tu banyak lah. Okay, dia punya color. Kalau yang ni yang you nak gunakan four color saja, AL zero four. And then you nak gunakan black and white saja. Okay, choose AL zero six. Okay, with a fixed amount of video RAM, the number of supported uh, supported colors decreases as resolution increases. Okay. So, sebab tu, you nak kena ada video RAM yang besar, saiz besar. You nak uh, lagi gambar lagi cantik. Okay, tapi supported color tu akan jadi lagi sikit lah. Kalau you gunakan uh, uh, apa tu? You gunakan uh, uh, CGA yang apa video RAM dia uh, with low RAM. Okay. So you kena, you kena gunakan CGA yang higher RAM. So you can buat higher resolution okay. and also you have more color option. Okay. Tapi kalau you are very limited budget, okay. So you can spend on the increasing the memory, the video RAM, okay. So you boleh, you have two options. Sama ada you nak high resolution with limited color support, or low resolution with more color support. Okay. You nak lagi banyak color, tapi you punya gambar maybe a little bit blur, okay. Or you nak very sharp uh, punya gambar, tapi you punya color is very limited. Ha. 
So itu dia punya inilah uh, composition dia. Okay. So cara dia if you nak cover ni you kena spend more on the video run. Okay. So as dia beritahu lah kat sini to create more colors in video box there must be memory available to store the extra colors. Okay, uh, now uh, we want to address a single pixel on the screen, use interruption with AH0C. Okay, the X column and Y row, so tadi kita dah address a text kan, so now kita nak address pixel. So address pixel macam mana? So kita gunakan interruption, tapi AH tu kita toggle tu 0C and then the X, okay, and Y, Color and row coordinates of the pixel must be known and vary depending on the main, uh, monitor resolution. Okay, register CX, okay, the column point and the row point. Okay, so you can specify ni dekat CX and also DX. Okay, to turn the pixel on or off, AL0 or AL1, uh, okay, for black and white. Okay, the value of AL can be modified for various colors. Okay, so dia boleh ditukar lah. AL tak semestinya black and white sahajalah. Okay, kalau you toggle that one. Okay, you can choose uh, other different color. If the display mode supports then more than one page, okay, PH equals to page number. Okay, to draw a horizontal line, choose row, okay, or column values to point to the beginning of the line okay and increment the column until it reaches the end of the line okay so dalam graphic mode you boleh lukis lah dalam graphic you boleh lukis so you boleh buat line okay so you boleh buat line macam you punya uh, word okay macam you punya word okay the word the combination of Uh, text mode and also graphic mode okay so at the same time you boleh type okay at the same time you boleh locate okay to draw a horizontal line choose row or column values to point to the beginning of the line and increment the column until it reaches end of the line okay to draw a vertical line so vertical line kat atas okay increment the vertical value held by the dx register and keep cx constant. So cx tak berubah lah sebab dia tak pergi ke kanan. So yang berubah dx, okay. And toggle the row number tu. Okay. Linear equation y equals to mx plus b can use for any line. <coughs> okay, uh, kita tengok uh, a bit, okay, uh, on the example of this. Write a program to clear the screen. Okay, set the mode of CGA of 640 times 200 resolution and C, draw the horizontal line starting at column 100, row 50 and ending at column 200 and row 50. So maksudnya, column yang berubah daripada 100 to 200. So nak draw Uh, horizontal line dekat situ lah. You punya row tak berubah. You punya DX tak berubah. <coughs> okay. So kita tengok macam mana solution dia. Okay. Clear the screen. Ingat lagi tak dia punya command. You nak clear the screen. You kena set A H equals to 06 kan. Okay. A H equals to uh, 06. So kat sini A H 06 lah. So you bagi 0600 dekat A X. Okay. You punya A H 06. Okay, and uh, uh, BH07, okay, you choose the attribute yang normal, okay. And CX00, ADX, okay, to row 18 to column, okay, for F. <coughs> okay, sebab apa? Sebab you dah specify lah kat sini. You nak pergi dekat, okay this uh, apa ni column uh, 50 ni okay 50 so you kena uh, convert 
kepada hex lah. Okay, kena convert kepada hex. Okay, and then Alright um, Interrupt then <coughs> Okay, <coughs> sorry Okay, back to DX So DX ni cover semua Okay, 18 hingga 4F So daripada bottom lah So daripada Uh, apa ni uh, left to right ok and also from the top to the bottom ok so CX to DX so dia cover semua the whole page tu ok interrupt 10 so dia dah clear dah the screen so dekat sini you dah clear the screen so over here the command already clear the screen okay, and then another set mode Okay, you nak set mode CTA 300 times 200, 640 times 200 resolution. Okay, so set mode 06, okay, CTA high resolution. Sebab ni ni high resolution kan? Okay, 640 times 200. Okay, and then interrupt 10. Okay, dah settle yang part B. Okay, part C, draw a horizontal line starting at column 100 and row 50 and then column 200 to row 50. Row 50. Okay, CX 100, okay, DX 50, okay. AX, AH, A, A, 0C, okay. 0C ni untuk you draw lah, okay. You draw the line, okay. AL 01, okay, pixel sama dengan color white. Okay, invoke the interrupt. Okay, you dah set, so maksudnya you dah set command ni untuk you draw the line. Okay, and then increment CX, okay. So increment CX, compare CX sama dengan 200 tak? So increment ni dia, you buat one by one, okay? You buat one by one, so dia akan pergi one by one uh, line lah. 100, 101, 102, 103 sampai 200. So dia akan go from. Lepas ni dia akan compare sama dengan 200. Kalau tak, kalau tak sama lagi, okay? Tak sama, maksudnya compare zero lah. Zero. Uh, sorry. Compare CX 200, sama tak? So kalau CX 200, you punya compare, you punya result dekat sini dapat satu. Kalau tak, okay, kalau tak, you akan dapat zero lah. Okay. So, uh, maksudnya kalau jam, jam dia akan uh, pergi kalau dia tak zero lah. Okay. Jam nak zero. Okay. Jam kalau dia tak zero. So dia akan jump balik pada back. Okay so dia akan buat repeat balik. Repeat, repeat and repeat. Sampai dah 200. Okay. Sampai dah 200. Okay so bila you compare. So you dapat 200. Okay. And then dia akan dapat uh, jam nak zero. Okay jam nak zero. Tadi jam nak zero. So bila compare dapat. So now it is zero lah. Okay. So now is zero, dia akan exit. Okay. Now compare, katakan CX is uh, 101. So tak sama kan? So dia akan dapat 1. Okay. So not zero, dia akan go to back. Okay. So dia akan loop and loop and loop. Okay. So dia akan, you punya, you punya ni tak screen akan jadi macam tu lah. So dia akan draw the line. Draw the line sampai ke yang ni yang 400 sehingga lah 200. Okay, so dia akan stop after that. Okay. Alright. So, we stop there. Okay. Okay, we stop. We already finished with uh, interrupt 10. Okay. So, there are so many things. So, in the interrupt 10, so you can do uh, many, apa ni, uh, many functions with interrupt 10, especially uh, regarding the display. Okay, display and the character writing on the screen. Okay. Okay, so later we will discuss uh, interrupt 21. Okay, we will discuss interrupt uh, 21. Uh, okay, so why not take a break for about uh, 15 minutes, alright? And then 
we come back and then we will discuss uh, about the topic on your test too. Okay, so take a break for 15 minutes. Any question can ask, boleh tanya kalau ada sebarang soalan.
Okay, welcome back. Okay, you guys ada kat sini? Ada? Ada, Doktor. Okay. Um, alright. So, they're getting your test too. Okay. Um, dah ready ke semua? You guys ready for the, your test too? Tak ready pun buat ready. <laughs> ready pun buat ready. Okay, so I nak cover a bit of the ni lah. Okay. Uh, okay, so there will be three questions. Okay, akan ada tiga soalan. Okay. Um, so the question, okay, all of those, okay, one of the question will be on the directives. Okay. So you can tahu lah the function of the directive apa semua tu. O, R, G, D, P, D, W, D, D and so on. Okay, so yang tu you kena tahu semua lah about the directives. Okay. So you kena tahu macam mana nak guna, nak gunakan that kind of directives. So you kena be able, okay, you must be able to explain. Okay, sebab apa uh, yang ni boleh digunakan? Sebab apa dekat sini tak boleh digunakan? Alright, so you must be able to know that. Okay, so that's about the directive. Okay, so another one is regarding the jump. You ada belajar multiple jumps kan? Ada short jump, okay, near jump, far jump, okay, and also regarding the address, okay, yang uh, address, uh, the physical address and also apa, offset address yang change according to when you do the jump instruction, okay. So if I share with you the, okay, let's say we look at the notes. Okay, so yang ni berkaitan dengan ni and far jump lah. Alright. Okay, so you need to know. Okay, yang CSIP ni dia akan change lah according to when you uh, put your jump. Okay, so in near jump, the IP is updated and CS remains the same. Okay. So, beza dengan far jump. Okay, so CS and IP change. Okay, so you can tahu within that jump, okay, within that jump, ada conditional, unconditional jump. Okay. Um, okay, so you kena faham konsep uh, J and Z. So, kalau you dapat variable, Uh, dia punya variable uh, zero maksudnya dia akan dia tak akan jump lagi lah so dia akan terus buat the, the instruction after that okay ini that you punya flat zf zf dah change okay so ni you kena tahu right the command for the the jump okay Okay, so you also must know, okay, uh, every conditional jumps are the short jump, okay, so the the address uh, should be within minus 128 to plus 127. Okay, sebab apa kita kira up to plus 127? Sebab kita kira starting from 0, okay, 0 to 127, 128, okay. Minus 1 to minus 128, memang 128 lah. So, kita ada both sides, okay. Okay, so you must know also the conditional jump is a two byte instruction. Okay, one byte is the output for the, the J condition. Okay, 
the second byte is a value between 0, 0 and n ff. Okay, so this is more important. Okay, so you need to know okay, how to get this value. Okay, you need to know how to get this value and also this value. Okay, how it is related. Okay. So, kalau macam yang ini. So, uh, FA ni, okay. Macam ni, you boleh dapat the D tu. Okay, dia kata dekat sini. Alright, so AP value, okay. Uh, of move, uh, okay, one, uh, one, three. Okay, added to the FA to calculate the label of the address again and the carry is drop. Okay, barulah you dapat yeah, value of uh, of ni lah. Okay, this one. Okay, FA tambah 13, so you akan dapat 0D lah. Okay, so that's how you obtain the uh, apa ni, dia punya operand punya uh, value over here. Okay, uh, sekejap eh. Hello. Uh, uh, sekejap, saya ada kelas apa dia? Ada kelas? Ah, uh, Saya ada kelas sekarang. Okay, okay. Nanti saya call balik. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, alright. Um, Okay, so you kena faham lah. Hmm. Apa ni you punya. Okay, macam mana you boleh dapat. Uh, okay, this code ni. Okay. This code ni relate dengan you punya. Uh, apa ni, instruction pointer punya ni lah. Value. So, offset. You punya offset address. Yang ni, uh, you punya physical address. So you must know how to obtain this. Okay, so you need to re revise back. Okay, uh, how to obtain this? Okay. Okay. Um. <coughs> Alright. So for the conditional jump, the address of the target address can never be more than minus one to get to one. Uh, 27 okay away from the ip associated okay with the instruction of the following uh, jump okay any attempt made to violate this rule will generate a relative jump out of range message okay so you can have tahu lah kalau tiba-tiba dia bagi error like this one this okay. dia bagi error like this one apa penyebab dia Jadi berkenaan conditional, okay, unconditional jump. So you kena uh, tahu lah ada beberapa jenis lah. Kat sini ada short, near, okay, direct, okay. So you must take note uh, how to compare within uh, all of this jump. Okay, also ada lagi satu register indirect and also memory indirect jump. Okay, tadi ni lah. Dia ada multiple, okay, short, near, direct, um, register indirect, memory indirect and also far jump. Okay, right, so itu berkenaan jump. Okay, yang tadi, yang directive tadi, so yang ni lah. Okay, ini sambung lagi lah, ada beberapa lagi berkenaan jump tu, so you must also take note lah. Okay, yang that one and also yang this one ni. Okay, uh, origin. Uh, sorry, oh, origin. Uh, yes. Uh, yang origin ni dah masuk part uh, directive. Okay, so you must know lah. Uh, ORG, DB, okay. uh, D, DUP, ada DB, DW, right? DQU, okay. All of these are directives. Okay. DQ. Okay. 
All right, so that's another set of question. And also this one, the Q. Okay. And you must know lah, contoh yang ni kan. Um, my name is Joe. So macam mana you nak write? Ataupun you translate every this code to this one. So apa akan berlaku lah. Okay, kalau you nak toggle, if it is given this statement, so you must know how to toggle uh, this one. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, so that one. Uh, okay, relate to the ni lah. Relate to uh, the assembly language programming. And you have uh, another question regarding the apa ni arithmetic and logic instruction okay uh, untuk arithmetic logic instruction um uh, we will look into the problems of uh, conversion, alright? Conversion uh, S key to uh, BCD, BCD to S key. Okay, so you you can you must be able to to expert in that area. Okay, so that that uh, the question will be related to that. Okay, so let me revise a little bit on that. So uh, the thing is uh, in this um, uh, conversion eh, uh, S key to BCD, BCD to S key uh, there are multiple arithmetic instruction lah uh, yang involved in this okay and when that one will affect also you punya flag okay because dia ribatkan you punya shift okay uh, shift instruction okay shift, right, uh, shift left, shift right Okay, so you must also know how to you know, convert BCD to hex, okay, hex to BCD, alright, and then, sorry, uh, hex to BCD and BCD to SK, okay, so how related is that? Uh, sekejap, saya tengah belum lagi, saya belum share lagi, saya nak cari, okay, BCD. Okay, kat sini. Okay, uh, so you kena tahu lah, alright. So digit 0, 1 to 9, so how it is uh, apa ni, equivalent to your BCD. Okay, BCD ada dua type, unpack dengan pack. Okay. Uh, okay, so macam mana you nak display the pack uh, or unpack. So, you can able to distinguish, distinguish lah. So, kalau unpack, you pakai dua, dua register. So, dia on the higher bit punya register tu, dia akan jadi zero. Okay, and then dia just fill in the lower bit punya uh, area sahaja. Okay, kalau pack tu dia pakai both lah, both uh, higher bit and also lower bit. Okay. Then ya, yeah, yang this one you can remember lah, this table. Okay, this table, SK table tu you can remember. So SK table ada juga pada the earlier chapter tu. So you also must remember lah. Kalau 29 ke 20, 30, 40, 50 tu you can remember. So you can you can refer back, okay? So this test will be 
uh, open everything that you want to open you can open okay so you boleh buka apa-apa yang you nak okay as long as the thing is uh, I'm testing your your understanding of the topic okay so itu yang penting right your capability to understand and transform it okay so you dah faham okay if you're given different set of problem tu so you boleh buat okay so to the, the main objective lah Sepatutnya you be able to do like that, okay? Uh, okay, and then you must be able to give a reasoning lah, okay? To give reasoning on every, uh, let's say ada error ke sebab apa dia jadi macam tu, okay? And then contoh, uh, kalau yang ni uh, betul, kenapa dia betul? Uh, so you must be able to, ni lah, to explain about that. Okay, so untuk number, so dia punya SKT start, start time from zero, uh, from 30, okay, 30 to 39. Okay, so you boleh, uh, ni lah, you boleh put back, okay, uh, into the, from SK into binary, okay, binary into BCD, pack or unpack. Okay. Okay, so yang ni, uh, yang ni eh, the most important ni, okay. Uh, you you kena know lah the different program to conversion lah, okay. ASCII to unpack BCD, okay. Dia ada ASCII to pack BCD and also uh, pack BCD to ASCII. Okay, so you must take note on this uh, program. Okay, yang ni, you kena tahu macam mana, okay. Dia nak convert ni daripada number AS, uh, ASCII, okay, to unpack BCD. So dia melibatkan uh, loop, looping lah. Okay. So sebab dia ada, uh, dia ada, dia ambil dua, 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 dua. So dia lima kali. Okay. Okay so you can refer to the notes. Okay. Okay so kalau uh, dia melibatkan uh, apa? Uh, uh, pack, pack uh, BCD to SK, dia kena first kena convert to unpack dulu. Okay, maksudnya pack kan dia ada dua, uh, dia, dia dah fill in dua, dua part of the register, higher and lower bit. Okay, so dia kena asingkan dulu lah. Okay, maksudnya yang higher tu dia kena asingkan and then the lower tu kena asingkan jadi unpack. Okay, yang depan dia zero, 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 zero and then barulah you boleh convert. Okay, yang that one you letak nombor tiga, kat depan nombor tiga, ha, barulah jadi SK. Okay, so itu cara dia. Okay, so you must pay attention to to this, uh, to the program lah, right? Okay, as long as the thing is you must know, okay, how to, apa ni, how to read the code. Okay, itu yang penting. So, you must be able to read the code and able to know this code, uh, how to uh, trans, uh, translate the code. Okay, how to translate the code. And of course, you can also tahu lah, okay, if you are asked to write, okay, uh, let's say a couple of lines of code, so you must able to do that. Macam you punya test one. Okay. Okay, yang ni untuk converting from uh, pack BCD to, to SK. Okay. Okay, so yang ni simple lah. So yang ni tak, yang ni tak penting sangat. Okay. Should be no problem to you. Okay, so itulah uh, yang berkaitan dengan you punya test tu. Okay, ada sebarang soalan. So your test 2 will be at 8 p.m. Dua jam kan doktor? Uh, tiga soalan sepatutnya setengah jam satu lah sejam setengah. Okay but I think my might be uh, I might give you up to maybe two hours lah. Okay. You guys dah prepare?
tahu Adalah kata, sikit bekalan Adalah, <laughs> Adalah sikit bekalan <laughs> Tadi macam prepare tengok doktor present Dah tak macam ingat tak apa prepare. yang ni Dah just refresh balik je apa yang awak belajar sebelum ni Okay so I hope everyone is ready lah Okay I don't know lah macam yang yang lain-lain tu Okay So I think um, It should be okay the thing is uh, You kena tahu who lah contoh uh, Maybe ada error dalam this code kan uh, You kena able to know Trace kat mana error tu okay, you, you dah tengok kan So you dah tahu uh, Okay dekat line mana ada error okay, Sebab apa bila you nak buat okay, Contoh you nak perform conversion from uh, S key to B C D Okay Okay you, you follow okay you you dah ada Guideline okay so this one is correct code Okay Kat sini you kena tahu Okay you follow lah tengok line by line Okay Code ni kat mana yang problem Okay so you must be able to identify Dekat mana problem tu and then be able to write the correct code Okay to fix that Okay and then you kena bagi explanation lah Okay and then uh, satu lagi remember about the ni lah dia punya flat Okay flat value tu kalau you nak buat shift okay sebab kalau yang ni kan You punya ni ha, Dia ada shift, shift right okay Kenapa dia mesti empat kali, kenapa dia tak tiga kali, kenapa tak dua kali ha, So you must be, you must know okay you kena faham Okay and then You, dia ada gunakan uh, arithmetic ni, dia logic instruction ni and or, kenapa dia gunakan and and or ni so you kena tahulah sebab apa okay. kalau you tahu tu should be no problem you, you, I, I think you should be, you boleh jawab tak ada, tak ada masalah pun okay so just to apa ni Ensure that you punya level of thinking tu sampai ke tahap tu lah Right Okay Tak ada soalan lain So kalau tak ada So kita stop kat sini lah Okay so Next week uh, Next week uh, lagi satu problem Next week another public holiday Okay another public holiday So kita akan buat another ni lah, another set of uh, replacement lecture lah nanti Okay So next week Tuesday is public holiday so we uh, I meet you ni lah On Thursday Okay I meet with you on Thursday Okay remember our test will be at 8 uh, pm tonight So I will share the link later at the Putra Plus Okay So you just check the Putra Plus for the information Okay, so the test time will be I'm thinking to, yeah, uh, initially I, uh, I will give you 1 hour and 30 minutes, okay Maybe um, I will extend it up to 2 hours Okay Any other info that you need to know? Ada, ada lagi info lain yang yang missing? Okay, good. Right, so as usual, so let's turn on your camera. seorang pun turn on kamera ni <laughs> semua angkat tangan je ah, Hamzah kat dia kena bus, test nampak lagi lah pukul 8 dan sekarang <laughs> ok 
Okay. So kalau if you are unclear, okay, kalau you are unclear about any question, okay. Don't, don't afraid to ask, okay. So tanya je. Okay. Alright, thank you Hamza and Anun Zuhilmi. Okay, so let's, <laughs> tak tahu nak tanya apa. Bila dapat soalan, tanyalah. Look, if you don't clear about good question to not. Okay. If you, do, you are not clear what the question asks you to do, so you can ask. Okay. Alright, so. Kalau tanya jawapan, itu dah jadi bukan test lah. Okay. Alright. So let me count from 10. Right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Thank you everyone. Okay. Thank you so much. See you tonight at 8. Thank you doctor. Okay. Thank welcome. You, doctor. Thank you doctor. Thank you doctor. Welcome. Thank you, Dr.